Good morning. It seems that the Jack Smack 77 has put up a video saying, post the gospel anywhere and everywhere. And this is what it gives, a simple way to heaven. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. Is that the uh, gospel? No, it's not. Jesus Christ died on the, on the cross for our sins. Our sins. Little mission there, Jack Smack. And of course, Jack Smack is, believes that the, it's not the gospel that saves. It's the saving message that saves. But he came and get the... Now, this is written. This is written. This is not something where, you know, you're speaking and you know, you might forget a word, to, you know, that was just you know, understandable. And you're saying, oh, Ed, you're just too picky. You're too picky. You go to Genesis where you see a woman leaving out the words that God told her. And remember, Jack Smack said, to understand the gospel, you have to understand you're a sinner. And it's just right in his own book. Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross. He didn't just die for you. He died for your sins on the cross. And of course, people won't pick up on it. He's writing this thing out. He can't figure it out. Jesus Christ died for you. No, he died for your sins. Sin is in that issue about the gospel. That's why he went to the cross. This is a fouled up teacher. Of course, he has this music in the background. It's horrible. That's another point. But anyway, I just um, put this up quickly. And uh, then he gets all, you know, again, remember, to these guys, it isn't the gospel that saves in the first place. It's a saving message that God gives eternal life to whoever trusts in his son. So... The gospel becomes a secondary issue that you learn after you're saved when you believe in the saving message. Keep that in mind. But he can't even get the gospel correct when he writes it out. That Jesus died, died for you. That's not the gospel. Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross. Beware of teachers who leave out or add to the word of God. Amen. Thank you.